reach decibel levels comparable to that of a jet engine. Century Link Field is the location for this exciting matchup between the San Francisco 49ers and the Seattle Seahawks. Hello, friends. Jim Nance and Phil Sims getting set for the call. The playoff chase is on. It's late in the year, and every single game is crucial. How about the scene we have before us, Phil? Well, you said it right. Crucial. This is a must win. You can feel the excitement from the fans. They know it's crucial, and you've got to be sharp in situations like this. Don't be thinking about the playoffs. Think about playing well today. Yo, welcome back to the channel, guys. Man, we are back. We already down seven to nothing to the San Francisco 49ers. And we get it out to one of the best receivers in the NFL, BK Metcalf. He picks up a first down. And we are letting it fly, but we did not get enough air up under that pass. And that is intercepted. Now we are halfway point, halfway through the season, and and so we connect with Tyler Lockett, and we are one of the hottest teams in the NFL. We definitely want to continue that momentum as we, you know, down the home stretch as we get make it to the playoffs. So anything could change. You just never know. With the right play calling, as you see, Trey is just, as of right now, he, he's the NFL MVP. Right? Like right now, at this very moment, as Nick Chubb lowers his head and he picks up his first down. We was in the danger zone. But now we're looking good, man. We pass it to last Goodwin. And we are inside the 20. Another read option. Uh, you just cannot. You just can't stop this dude, man. You just cannot. He's second racing touchdown of the game. Let's go. And this, I forgot to hit the record button. But this is how we ended up way down here. We connect with Tyler Lockett again. But he steps out of bounds. So that's how we end up way down here. First and goal. We got a call a screen pass. And Nick Chubb, bro, give us a touchdown, man. But second and goal, they did not give us a touchdown. We're going to punch it in anyway. Nick Chubb, and we continue our dominance after a slow start, actually. Once again, we are hitting Tyler Lockett. He is just scorching these defensive backs. 10 second level, and we added on three. So it's a 24-7 ball game. And right here, we are landing fly to DK Metcalf. Good luck trying to catch this dude, man. We are on fire right now. We are on fire. 31 to 7. Nick Chubb taking the handoff. This dude is a tough runner, but he gets tripped up after picking up a first down. First and 10, and we get slung to the ground after a sack. Something that you rarely see. But we take off running right here. He did not like taking that sack. Second and 19, we pick up a first down. As we will go ahead and cap off this game, capping off win against the San Francisco 49ers. Let's jump into this gameplay number two. Game number two at home, taking on the Baltimore Ravens, Lamar Jackson. Bruh, these are two, two of the most explosive quarterbacks in the NFL. As we already know what Lamar Jackson can do. Well, Trey had to prove himself, and so far this season, he has definitely proven himself as a rookie. As we complete that pass to DK Metcalf to sit up first and goal, handing off to Nick Chubb, and he punches it in as we tie the ball game up. First quarter hand off to Nick Chubb once again. All kinds of running room, bro. Look at the juke moves. That's one thing I like about this game, man. The court, the running backs, they just don't run in a straight line. They will juke you. They will spin move. You know what I mean? So that's definitely a good look. 
Like right here, we break the time. Let's go. Bro, you love to see it. 14-14 ball game. As I said last game, if it's broke, don't fix it, man. That Trey Campbell inside the five. Sets up first and goal. A risky play call right here, but we catch him on the <laughs> but we catch him sleeping as we hit DK Metcalf on that crit screen. We up 21 to 14. Let's see if we can make something happen. Nick Chubb, don't get caught. He got caught by the defensive tackle. Rick, another risky call, man, but it pays off as Nick Chubb finds the end zone with four seconds left before halftime. And we up by two scores early in the second half. And we take a sack. We ran straight into that, man. 28 to 14, bro. They are playing a lot of zone. And that's what you do have to beat the zone, man. Stretch the field. That's what you have to do. And right here, nobody, everybody is knowing the good one. He takes a big hit, but holds on to the pad or the rock. First and goal. Penny up the gut, man. Welcome back. His second worst in touchdown on the game. First and goal. Another risky call, man. They caught sleeping again. Let's go. And we always start off slow, man. We always, bro. Just this, this game is over already, man. <laughs> we are two and oh. As I said, man, we are 2-0. We end up winning the game. Lamar Jackson, 17 for 25, 184. Not a completion percentage. Two touchdowns. And no one that says, I don't know how many times he was sacked, but he did, he did fairly well. Rushing-wise, we definitely held him in check, man. Definitely held that dude in check. He, OBJ even took the rock for three yards. Receiving-wise for them, well, for us, Nick Chubb did his thing, man. Trey always do his thing, man. Rashawn Penny, two rushing touchdowns. We have four rushing touchdowns, man. I told you, we are a run first team, and we build off after that. DK, 39 receiving yards, one score. Goodwin had a career day, 125. Even though he didn't find the end zone, tied to lock it, find the end zone, one scoring touchdown, 95 receiving yards. Nick Chubb found the end zone, man. The passing-wise, Trey did his thing, 23 for 28, 312. He got sacked one or two times. Three passing touchdowns and no interceptions. Let's get straight to game play number three. Before we head into game play number three, we lost three straight, man. We lost to the Cleveland Browns. The 49ers got their revenge after we thumped them 42 to 14 a couple of games ago in week nine. We couldn't handle the New York Giants, man. So and we lost to the Cincinnati Bengals. So we lost four straight. <laughs> I mean, this is crucial down the home stretch. Y'all know, in real life, man, them, them games, are, every game is crucial. Every game, especially down the stretch. So, hopefully we can win out. Um, hopefully we have some kind of home field advantage. You know what I mean? We was how the teams in the NFL before we lost four straight. But, yeah, we have to win, man. We got LA Rams, we got the Cardinals, and we got the Redskins. So, we have to do our thing for all three of these games, man. So, moving forward, we have to play as a team. We lost four straight. It sucks losing but we we have to finish strong man so that's exactly what we are going to do starting with the la rams but here we are man taking on the la rams we are at home as i said we have to finish every game stronger right here we connect with tyler lockett but he sets out of bounds he picks up 23 on the play now who wouldn't want to have home field advantage in the playoffs you know what i mean so this dude trey had exceeded expectations and then some you know what I mean? Being the first, you know, third player draft overall in the in the draft as you know, Aaron Donald trips up Nick Chubb right there, but exceeded expectations earlier than people anticipated. You know what I mean? So as a rookie, you don't really know what they're going to do. You know what I mean? Cause they never played in the NFL. All you can do, all you can do is go by the college film. So this dude had one hell of a career in, in college, you know what I mean? So his success is continuing in the NFL. Now after this season, Folks who have a lot of film on them, you know what I mean? And they're going to try their best to try to stop them as we connect with DK Metcalf, man. We are coming out strong and hot right here. Get out of front trying to throw a block. Nick Chubb, let's go. We are 14 to 3, but we, we, that's it. But we have to play every game like it's our last, man. We had DK Metcalf. He takes it inside the 10 first and goal. Connect across the middle to Tyler like his other star receiver. Man, we are rocking and rolling right now. Third and 15. We decided to take off running, man. We decided to take off running. 
The LA Rams fell asleep, man. They fell asleep. And he, he made them pay. And right here, bro, what the f Everything was covered, and I don't know what I was—I don't know what I was trying to do. I was trying to hit six, bro. Our first career pick six, man. You don't like to see it, man. You definitely hate something like that. Twenty-one to ten, bro. They got a spy on this dude, man. They definitely got a spy, but that's okay. You can have a spy all you want to. Let's go. That that pick six is light, bro. He did something to him. You know what I mean? And right here, what a beautiful pass with a zip on the pass with the accuracy. This dude talking his shit right now. And right here, the DB fell asleep as we connect with DK Metcalf. Let's go. He told you, bro. And right here, this just bittersweet right here. They try to make a comeback, but right here, we just turned on the Jets. Bobby Wagner, just, just no, dude. Just no. We up big, man. Another read option play. Another play that's going to possibly take it to the crib. We tried to set up a buck. I'm thank God we didn't get into right there. Uh, you know, fumble. But right here, bro, we it's no it's no sportsmanship, bro. It's no sportsmanship. Let's go. But that's all we got, man. We end up winning after losing four straight. Like, comment, subscribe on the video, man. On um, my second channel, y'all go subscribe to that. You know, start another revamp series with feature a middle linebacker. Y'all go check that out, man. But it's your boy Sarit. Man, I'm, I'm up out of here, man. But God bless y'all, man. And, you know, go start to the second channel, man. And I'm out. The tree. I want to salute every nigga who run with me. And it's a secret everything that you done with me. Because it's a couple niggas that practice loyalty. Family.